Hello everyone and welcome back to another World of Tanks video. Today we are back out in the Cromwell and I have it fully upgraded, finally. So I've uh, been quite slowly chipping away at these grinds really, kind of pacing it out in line with how often we're going to put the videos up on the channel. But I had a little burst of, um, of grinding on both of them over the weekend. I had a nice little platoon on Sunday with some of the guys from the Beard Clan. So shout out to those guys. Had good fun. Um, it was actually the first time I'd ever platooned on PS4. Because I don't really, only really play it for these series. I haven't really played it for much else stuff. So um, after a thousand solo games, it was nice to roll out in a platoon. Give it a whirl. Managed to get a bit of grinding done. There we go. A whole enemy team spotted by our... YOLOing light tank who is now unsurprisingly dead but as a result of some of that grinding and a little bit of solo play I managed to get the top gun unlocked on the Cromwell and it has been really really fun and this was one of the games that I had uh, that was a pretty decent game so I thought I'd show off it's not it's not insanely crazy but it's a decent game nonetheless and after um, struggling, struggling a little bit with the the howitzer and then the other guns available on the Cromwell. It felt like a real, real big step up to um, to get this gun going. It's a really nice gun and uh, really has been working rather nicely for me. There we go, enemy M6 moves up, damages my ammo rack kind of annoyingly. That is something I've noticed about this tank. I don't know if that's just been a bit of bad luck the last couple of days, but I have had my ammo rack damaged rather a lot. So here we go. So I've decided to to bail out on this position. Uh, that M6 and the the other guy, I was pretty not too worried about them on their own, but it looked like uh, a lot of their team might be pushing up this way, and there wasn't really going to be any other option. If I fell back too late, there wasn't going to be much uh, chance of me surviving without getting shot too much. So we managed to dive back uh, to here without really taking uh, too much damage. Throw in a nice handbrake turn, and we start to try and find some shots going back the other way. So here's T-34-88. Put a shot on Tim. I'm being very cautious at the moment because this is when I still don't have a uh, sixth sense on this crew, actually. Would you believe? I do have, like, whatever the perk is that it comes with. The one you got for the snake bite crew, which I can't remember what it's called, but it had that one on it. But it doesn't have sixth sense, so it's kind of... Uh, Makes everything a bit more dangerous when you don't have that on. You don't know what's happening. Would have made it a lot easier to take out this guy because I would have known exactly when I was spotted. But we do manage to um, chip away his health. And even though it felt like losing that flank so early and having to fall back kind of felt like we'd be pretty doomed. But it's actually not going too badly at the moment. We're sort of even team-wise. And even though the team's been quite annoying and campy, uh, because I've been able to fall back and then spot out targets, those TDs are actually able to dish out some quite nice damage to the guys that I'm going to spot up. Uh, and I managed to pick up a pretty healthy amount of spotting assisted. Spotting assisted? Why not? A bit of spotting assisted damage throughout this game. So the M6 is taking hits, the T29 is taking hits, the T25-2 is taking hits. And things aren't looking too bad. So there we go, the M6 taken out of the game. Just keeping an eye on this ridge line. I really want to get this guy out of the game because he's closest and probably the one that's spotting me out. And there we go, nice shot to his side. Just need to do one more. Ah, oh, I don't know where that went, but we have to move back. I don't want to take hit from him. 238 health. Doesn't go a long way when you don't have much armor and you get shot by a T29. But we managed to pick up some more assisted on that T25 and we can keep poking that ridge and looking for those shots in the T29. Here we are, nice shot on this guy, straight through the front, easy peasy. So nice, that, oh, just, there's something nice about water tanks, that feeling when you finally get that top gun upgraded on a tank and you just suddenly have a whole bunch more pen, a whole bunch more damage or rate of fire or whatever that it comes with. Normally more pens, pretty much a guarantee. Uh, and this one certainly is not an exception to that and it's been really, really nice to use, really satisfying. But yeah, generally, uh, generally been enjoying this tank quite a lot. I still, I keep saying I'm, I need to grind out a bit of crew at some stage. I feel like I was kind of going to do that on the uh, the snake bite. I was going to try and get three marks on the snake bite. So I might still try and do that. Just line up a shot there. There we go. We'll be back for you later, Mr. T1. 
Yeah, I kind of, I was going to do that. I think what I might do is maybe, maybe try and three mark this if I'm enjoying it still when I finish the grind, which I think I probably will. Uh, it's a pretty good way of getting an extra crew skill or two on top. So I think that might be a good option. And maybe I'll try and three mark the uh, the snake bite as well. Because I think if I'm going into tier 7, at the moment I've almost, almost got 6 cents. It's on like 96%. So uh, I think to go up to tier 7 with only 2 crew skills is going to be a little bit a little bit risky, a little bit noobish. I think I need to, uh, I need to do better than that. So, I know, ideally it'd be nice to boom up to tier 7 with like 4 skills really. Even that's not much, but you know, it'd be nice to have what we've got at the moment. We've got this weird one, we've got almost 6 cents. I don't know, I'd like to have situational awareness and recon on here to be honest, because I feel like it's suffering from having a little bit inferior view range. That'd be pretty nice to have. Always nice to have repairs too. Um, it looks like the uh, wet ammo rack, or, oh no that's the equipment, but the one that, um, safe stowage, the one that protects your ammo rack could be useful. For this tank certainly. And obviously once we get to the uh, higher tier tanks we can switch out crew skills for whatever is appropriate for that tank. So this guy, I really wanted to save that guy, I was trying to find a shot on this guy for ages but there just wasn't one on. But wait till he came forward again we managed to finish him off. In a 4v4, so pretty uh, pretty tight situation still. I was a little bit hesitant to push forward here because I didn't really know what's at the back. I knew their arty probably was, and that guy was over there somewhere. But wasn't really sure where everyone else was. They've certainly got that medium tank that I don't really have any idea here where he is. I totally forgot about this guy, but uh, end up just managing to uh, both surprise each other equally and finish him off before he can do any damage. Trying to see if I can get a little side shot on the artillery. Realise I've on the uh, AT. Realise he just got spotted by their RT. So we decide to get rid of him. Decide to bail out on driving down that way and just pull back to use the RT as a bit of cover here. I wasn't sure if I was going to stay here long term or not, but um, I mean long term. We hit some maximum of seven minutes, but you know, it's a lifetime in a battle. But yeah, I was thinking originally I was going to park up there, reevaluate, maybe move around and flank, or try and move down and get behind, track and move him, get behind, but. He seemed pretty intent on just um, just driving towards me, so that's going to make it him for hard for him to place well-aimed shots and me just poking around a little bit at the edge there. Uh, so it felt like a good opportunity to just place some shots into his hatch and get rid of him. And here is the final enemy tank going for that seventh kill. We just picked up the top gun on the uh, on the A2 AT tank, and there we go. Track the A43 by accident, and then finish him off a kill with number seven. So into the post battle results, that was my first first class mastery badge I believe. I also got a times 4 crew boost from the, I don't know, not tank bowl, whatever the event is where the countries are playing each other at the moment. I had a times 4 crew XP boost from getting a completion, um, which is just getting some points in not tank bowl. But uh, yeah, well timed to get a times 4 crew XP on a uh, one of my best, well my best Cromwell rounds so far. So very pleased with that. Thanks, War Gaming. Nice little uh, op bonus. I appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, 1,300 assisted, 1,800 damage. Pretty uh, pretty nice, eh? Hopefully we'll get that mastery soon. I'm sure it won't take long. I'm enjoying this tank a lot. You may have gathered. And now I'm going to go and record some live commentary in it. So hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.